Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to give you guys an entire tour of this new mod. It is from the author TG. She also made the Luxury Homes mod. It is paid at mod, it is 600 creation credits. However, this turned out to be so much more than I expected. I mean, it is huge. So I want to give you guys a tour, uh, show you at least all the locations, all the, all the secrets that I've been able to find and a few other things that I couldn't find, but I had to go on Reddit just to find out. So just a look of this location in case you're interested, you're curious, maybe help you make a decision if it's something that you want to get for yourself or not. And this is an island from the surface map. The house, the mansion is here. There's another camp here with enemies that you can go and explore. And then there is the ship landing bay here. I have not gone through all the other side. I think it's just vegetation, rocks, hills and things like that. I don't think there are any uh, structures on the other side of the island. But if I find anything, I'll make sure to update the video in the comments and things like that. After you install the mod, and you go inside the game, a new quest will show up for you and it will give you a couple of items of things that you have to accomplish. The first one is going to be to power this location. So this is the reactor power. So interact with that to turn on all the power. That's the first thing that you have to do. After you have everything done, you can now go into and explore the mansion. And the mansion is humongous. You have a lot of light switches, so make sure to interact with all of those so that you can turn on all the lights. When you first come in, you're going to find a pool of blood here and I think a note uh, related to the quest. When I first came in here, I saw the blood. I thought it was going to stay there or something like that. So I put a sanitation robot, but I, I think it just disappears after once you go far enough into the quest. And this is the mansion. So you also have a lot of switches for blinds. These ones in the walls. So just interact with them and you can open all the blinds. And it's just fantastic. It's huge. Look at this area here. This is humongous. And you have a lot of light switches that you can interact and turn on everything. So a bunch of rooms. You guys can kind of go in and explore all these rooms but we are talking about a lot a massive amount of rooms each of them with switches with lights that you can turn on there is this balcony at the back you also have a fire pit that you can turn on and off so there is a light switch that you can turn it off and then turn it back on if you like so a lot of those things going on and it has a lot of secrets. The quest is going to ask you to find things to explore the area and kind of find a distress beacon. So what you're going to have to do, the first step is you're going to come into the office here and you can interact with the computer learn more about the lore and things like that but there's going to be a couple of um, papers laying around and in one of those papers that you pick up so make sure to scan all these cabinets and pick up the paper it will tell you that one of his secret switches is in his bedroom below the tv and the bedroom i think we just passed it a moment ago is i think it's on the other side of this aquarium of the office i believe it's here right uh, so big I'm already lost oh and uh, well since we're here there's also this pool that you can kind of just swim into the other side and now the water is contaminated here and I know that there's already a mod in the creation kit that fixes that I think I'm not sure if it's intended to be this way or if it's a glitch that the water is actually not supposed to be contaminated anyways there is a mod I believe it is called uh, Hyla 2 clean water or Hyla 2 purify water and let's look for the bedroom oh okay this is the bedroom so it is across the office that you find the notes you come here into the bedroom and you're gonna have these cabinets that you can interact the shelves it's going to be closed so you're gonna have to open them then you're gonna have to crouch 
and there is a hidden switch here that you're gonna turn it on. So turn on our sculpture. So once you turn on this switch, when you go down, you are going to see uh, this big, huge sculpture here. And this is a hidden switch that you have to interact with. When you turn it on, it will open up and there is a secret location here. This vault is going to be closed and you have to go down here, Aqua Paradiso, and I keep on looking, exploring the place uh, to find out the, the distress signal and the key to the vault. The first time when you come down here, you're gonna have alarm going off here and you have a bunch of switches and there is one of these airlocks. I believe it's not this one, it's this one. So this airlock, the one that has a zero nine outside. So you're going to go interact with the switch to close and open the other end. Uh, there is going to be another one, another airlock. And I think once you go in here, there is another one. I gotta tell you, I mean, the author, she spent so much time building this. This is just huge. So, all right, after you come in here, you're gonna have this location. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of things going on here. Uh, you can decorate this. Uh, you have a lot of these stations laying around where you can interact and start decorating the interiors as you wish. But at the back, there is this station generator that you're going to have to turn on. And once you turn it on, that alarm will stop. Uh, there's not much here. I think you have random loot, but nothing, nothing of importance in this area. But you can always, uh, you know, take a look around. So we're going to now go back. So once you go back, it's going to look like this. All the lights are going to be on and uh, you can interact with those switches so that they, uh, all the windows kind of, you know, they open up and you can start seeing the inside of the aquariums and things like that. And so after all of that, you can go to this airlock. There is another uh, room that takes you somewhere else too. So we're going to turn on again. We have a bunch of airlocks and take a look at this. This was amazing. You have this underwater bridge. I mean, this was, this was, when I saw this, I was like, wow, what is happening here? What is going on here? And part of me was like, a, I was kind of afraid that there's some monsters showing up or something like that, but, but no, no monsters, by the way. And then you come in here, you are entering this kind of underground mansion. It still looks like a mansion. And again, a lot of switches that you can interact and you can open, you know, turn on all the lights as well as open all the blinds. So we start at the bottom. You have a bunch of rooms that I don't think they do anything. I, I mean, I did my best to look around and see if I can find anything. But most, most of them is just, again, light switches, fireplaces that you can turn on and turn off. So nothing, nothing secretive in this area. At least I couldn't find anything secret or any items or things like that. Everything looks like it's empty. And, you know, the person who was here just totally left this. And there is one place here below a location that is pretty cool. There is a library. Again, nothing. I couldn't find any secrets here as well. And there was nothing kind of there. There is this another kind of center circle aquarium, just just I guess for decoration. And there is this swimming pool that you can kind of just go in. The water here down here is actually clean, purified. It's not gonna give you any problems. And then there is this glass ceiling uh, that that just I guess sees the rest of the the ocean. Uh, I'm assuming you know underwater. And, but now no secrets here, not, none that I could find. Like I tried to see if this thing here would kind of do anything I can interact with, nothing. And we're gonna just move on. So that is pretty much kind of all, all there was in this area below it. But we do have some, some other stuff once we go back outside. And uh, let's see, so here we go back up. And we're going to go up here. There were a couple of rooms. So you have a room with a lot of workbenches. I couldn't find any any secrets, um, any anything else here. 
there is just a bed by itself and again you can interact with the switches and it opens up all the blinds so you can see all of that nothing here either i was really hoping that this would help uh, find the key for the vault that, that we need but none of that was there and uh, this is another decorate console uh, you have an infirmary here uh, so it looks like a, a very nice uh, bunker i guess type of thing and oh, just another empty room but after all of this there was this thing that i found so there is this green little hidden switch that if you interact with uh, now i closed it but it will open that secret location there is a switch that I think is the light. I forgot. I think, oh, this switch, this is the light. So this one will open all the armory. And yeah, not a lot of things. I thought that, you know, something of value will be hidden here. But no, this is just regular weapons, some ammo, and that's it. That was pretty much it. So that was that. And it was the only one that is green. So that's the secret one. And then there are these kind of weird stones here. So there is one here that says Aqua Paradiso. And there is another one on the other side uh, that says Eren's Camp. So this one, if you open it, it will just teleport you like a fast travel back to where your, your ship landed. So this will just take you there. And uh, this one here, it will take you back to that center location that we just came down from. So it brings you down here and now we can, I guess, go to this underwater research lab. This thing just kind of keeps going. So you enter into this office and it seems like there's something here that we're supposed to find, but I couldn't. The only thing, the secret that I found here, there is another hidden switch, which is this thing. When you activate it, it opens this blind at the back. And I thought that this computer would give us or open something else and it's just a, a console to to decorate things uh, nothing else so there is that uh, in case you're wondering and then there is this thing that kind of looks like a door i don't know if it is a door i have a feeling that it's not a door it's just a decoration because if this door slides it will slide out of this frame but at the same time maybe it could open in i don't know i couldn't find any anything else in this office to kind of get this to open if it's even possible to open it you know so i look around all this office uh, and i couldn't find anything else there is now this kind of like an underground lab and it looks like they were just studying marine life that's what it seems like this lab was for just for marine study and things like that this is the second level uh, I tried to see if I could interact with any of these things, nothing. The second level kind of takes you to the crew quarters. So this will go down and you have now a living quarters. This is for the crew. So I kind of like open everything. This is the first time in a long time that I try to open all the safes that are around just to see if I can find anything. So nothing, like I couldn't find any, just regular uh, items, you know, weapons and things like that, nothing special. And uh, a lot of these computers, if you interact, it just tells you a little bit about the story, uh, the, the lore of this place. And then there is this that looks like captain's room. And uh, there was a helmet uh, here, like, uh, it's not a helmet, but a hat, a captain's hat. Let me show you there that's that's the little hat that that i found here in this room so uh rockoff's officer hat so this is was i guess rocco's uh, room and uh that was that was in here in this room and a bunch of weapons the computer didn't give me anything just a bunch of complaints from this officer uh, i really thought that there would be something here like a, a note you know i kind of look around the walls i went up close couldn't find anything and that was the other room and this was looks like a uc like a military for the security personnel and also again not much just regular random uh, loot so and now i get we can just go out and uh, let's see let's go out so now we can basically either go down from here 
or if you want you can kind of go back here and then jump down from here it will take you basically to the same location which is down here we're gonna go there later and let's take a look so yeah there is this you can go under the water all the fish they all seem to be harmless they, they don't do anything um they're just there and there is this oh there is that place that we're gonna go later there is this i guess the the laboratory where they did all the experiments and the studies and things like that and uh infirmary so i couldn't find a key or any any sort of uh, a vault key uh, nothing so i interacted with the computers and most of the computers if not all they will just tell you about uh, the research results and things like that and at this this door here uh you have to digi pick it i couldn't find a key to open it and there is a fish like a big ass fish on the other side that i uh, I don't think there is a way to, to go over there. I see a hole there, but I don't think it's something that we can actually go through. You have some loot, you know, nothing nothing special. And that is that is pretty much it. And there was another, this place here. I think I had to digipick this, this door here as well from the other side. Uh, I forgot. But anyway, there's like a, not much going on. So that door there, we can actually go th get there from here as well. There's a helium tank. So this is this is the other area, the other door from the other side that we were just here. And two doors that kind of leads to the same place here. Uh, seriously, I got lost so many times. I, I think I spent five hours, uh, maybe not, not five hours, but four, four hours just trying to figure out what is happening and try to find things. I tried to see if I could interact with any of these things. Nothing nothing and there is one level uh switch uh, i should say up here and there was also a computer that you can uh, use interact to open that door and uh, this switch once you pull uh, something happens it sounds like something kind of explodes from out on the surface i'm not sure but i couldn't find any anything different but you will see the gas kind of just coming in uh, but other than that, nothing. And I couldn't, like, uh, you know, it, I couldn't seal it back up. It just, it just like that now. And uh, this access will take you again back to uh, that living quarters or the living area that we were just before. So there are two more doors below. And I'm going to take you to the one that is pretty cool. This one, the one that says this is not an exit. And yes, it is not an exit. It takes you to the ocean floor. I mean, you can actually now swim. And that's how big this is. So you are basically now in the uh, biggest aquarium. Like uh, you cannot actually swim to the surface of the ocean because there is, uh, you know, rocks there. Look at that. That's a big ass fish, uh, a bunch of fishes. It feels like uh, when you're in zero G gravity. Uh, that's what you have here um you don't actually see much of the water and by the way there is a chest here it has some loot not a lot of stuff but you know what i'm gonna take it now and um and it looks like yeah it just hubs that i guess broke and destroyed here uh, that was the only chest that i could find i went all the way back there i went back there i also went all the way at the back there is this thing here right it looks like it's something that we should be able to interact with uh but uh i couldn't do anything with it i don't know if i'm missing uh, something anyway so let me let me just go back uh really quick this turned out to be pretty amazing i did not expect this i thought it was just going to be a little mansion that you explore and that was it but there's more so now here this is Aaron's camp this looks like a back entrance of a, a villain's lair or something so basically yeah you come in here you have this big ass exit and when you uh, interact with the switch this opens up so uh, when you first come here it's going to be closed and you open up and you are at the back of the island I think on the side of the island not the back 
So you could kind of go back to the mansion from here. You know, you can walk up there. There is an Aaron's camp there. Aaron's camp sounds really familiar. I think it was part of the Andresia's quest. Like one of her friends, I think Aaron is here. Wasn't she the friend of Andresia or something like that? And is the guy that came down here, found this place, and now is dead, is he the husband or something of, of Eren? If anybody knows about this, let me know in the comments. Oh, and I forgot, in the UC quarters, you will also find this helmet, the UC security helmet. I'm not sure if if it's something that you are able to, to obtain in other areas of the game. This is the first time I see this helmet. So if anybody was looking and likes this helmet, so you can find them in that uh, UC quarters under the laboratory. So you have two of them, so you can get them if you, if you like. Uh, I'm going to show you guys where to get that vault key. Let's just go there. So I ended up just getting the answer out of Reddit. So basically the key is going to be in Seoul. You're going to go to Mars. It is a Sedonia. You go all the way to the end, you're going to find the trade authority. And outside of the trade authority, so without going inside, there are two vending machines. It is on top of one of those vending machines. And it's kind of tough to grab because you cannot jump and stand on the vending machine. After you get the key, then you can come back and we're going to now go open the vault. So now that we have the key, then you can come here and interact and open this vault. And again, there is a pool of blood here that I don't know if it's going to go away or not. I put a sanitation robot. I don't know how long it's going to take to clean this up. You're going to find this guy. There was a couple of notes here. It looks like he's kind of gone crazy or mad or, or something. And he misses her. So, you know, there's a bunch of things. There are a couple of notes that you can read. And then you can interact with this. Not really interact, but the, the, this strange rock. Uh, if you get up close, it's going to give you all the, the new armor from this mod. And then at the back, this is the... A signal for the distress call that you are looking for. Interact with that and it will also turn off. So this is the Starborn Gunslinger armor and I guess this is going to be personal preference uh, you know whether you like it or not and there is also this one Starborn space I mean, this is just a regular Starborn suit and then there was, there was there's this one this is the armor. So the funny thing the vault also gives you another item called Redacted Artifact. So I'm not too sure. It's just a sphere and uh, I can drop it and it's just kind of like a bouncing ball. I don't know what we have to do with this thing. I don't know if it does something. Maybe we have to put it somewhere. It doesn't show up when I click on Decorate. It, it does not show up in the menu as something that I can put somewhere. So I'm not too sure what this is going to be uh, what it does so I kept going exploring and when I came back to this vault there was this intruder here wearing that same new armor and just freaking cooking for some reason so it looks like this guy was not all crazy like they're coming like I guess yeah he was actually being hunted they were pretty tanky at 100 level 100 so that's what happened on the second time I came back here after going downstairs anyway so this is everything that you get it is 600 creation credits the mod i feel like a lot of work has been put in here this location seems so much bigger than anything that we got in the game aside from maybe new atlantis i mean this place is is pretty huge anyway so yeah let me know what you think or if you know the answer to some of these questions Thank you all for watching, enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.